Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, Scorpio, so check it out. This is your general energy reading for the month. Yeah, so just because this is coming through for June doesn't mean it has to resonate at this time. These are fairly timeless readings. This is just whatever spirit wants to talk to you about right now in this moment. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, all the information can be found in the description box below. Also, we could be talking to a cross watcher here. Yes, so general reading, general energy. We're talking about anything and everything that wants to come through in this moment for you. So because this could, we could be talking to a cross watcher, make sure that, you know, whatever I'm narrating, if it fits for you, but not necessarily how I'm saying it, just place it into your life as it fits. But please don't try to force anything that does not fit. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Um, yeah, let's just get into this here. Uh, I have a pre-shuffle energy for you. Now, the, the energy that I'm feeling for you in this moment right now in this reading is all about independence, okay? First card that came out in your pre-shuffle is, in fact, the Eight of Wands, all right? We're talking about communication here, and we're talking about communication, Scorpio, in terms of who you are. I, uh, uh, a message for you right now is that independence is key with the eight of wands and the nine of pentacles i really do feel like you're asserting yourself in some way okay do not give up keep moving forward scorpio because you are moving towards the ten of cups you're moving towards your ultimate wish fulfillment ultimate happiness but this happiness i feel like scorpio is is, is coming specifically from some form of independence okay we have that here with the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is an energy of standing on your own, being abundant, uh, being self-made. Um, it's, a, it's a card of entrepreneurship and a lot of blessings and uh, ooh, bonuses. Okay. Uh, all right. So we could be talking about, for some of you, some of this uh, communication that's coming through here. Again, communication is key. Whatever it is you're communicating about, uh, if this if this is resonating for you on a business level, it could uh, lead to getting some sort of raise or a bonus at work. Um, and to be honest with you, I feel like if that's resonating with you right now, if you're looking for some sort of raise or some sort of bonus, uh, uh, some sort of job situation, I feel like you're well prepared right now with the nine of pentacles with the eight and the eight of wands. Um, whatever it is you need to communicate, you have a good foundation for it. Your work speaks for itself. Your work ethic speaks for itself. You definitely stand out here, okay? No one can deny at this point that you are capable of the job and that you're ready for a raise or a promotion, all right? So you need to communicate that, all right? And make sure you stand your ground, be assertive. Overall energy in your uh, in the pre-shuffle here is the emperor, okay? So they're the, standing your ground, creating boundaries, setting the record straight for some of you. Um, you're, you're, it's like the communication is necessary for this next step as you're moving towards this 10 of cups energy, all right? Again, Scorpio, I just keep hearing that communication is key here. So if we're talking about a relation, I was just about to say, Scorpio, if we're talking about a relationship and then the lovers comes out, okay? You have this lovers, the six of pentacles here, the knight of cups, the tower, eight of swords, ten of pentacles. All right, for some of you, um, if we're talking about love in this situation for you, uh, independence is key here. You might be coming to an end of the relationship. The relationship may have been toxic or confining in some way, okay? Um, I do see an ending potentially of the relationship as a whole or just this phase or this cycle in the relationship. Ten of pentacles. Something is coming to completion here. Um, for some of you, you need to communicate from the heart uh, in terms of reaching some sort of reciprocity. If we're talking about a relationship here for you, Scorpio, it feels like um, you ha you have been needing to speak up, maybe even fess up to towards how it is you're truly feeling. All right. Uh, but you need to you need to do it from a heart centered place, okay? You need to follow your heart here with this Knight of Cups energy because whatever it need, you need to communicate is coming from a place of what is <clears throat> what is going to serve your highest good, okay? There is a choice here, the lovers, and I do feel like if we're talking about love in this situation now for you, there is definitely a vice over I'm sorry, a virtue over vice type of situation. I feel like you've been in a in a relationship or you've been in a situation in this relationship in which. Uh, 
you haven't communicated clearly, some of you may feel like you don't have the opportunity to communicate clearly or that you cannot communicate clearly for fear of the relationship ending. But you see, that's where this Eight of Swords energy comes into play. This is not a beneficial or healthy relationship for you if you can't communicate clearly, if you can't be open-hearted, if you can't be truthful and honest. But should you choose to, to, to stand up and communicate, Scorpio, which I really feel like you really should do, it's, yes, it's going to bring a tower moment, but ultimately it's going to bring the completion of the relationship and also I feel like a completion of a relationship cycle for you, okay? I really do feel like you're breaking free. <laughs> High Priestess, trust your intuition in terms of this Eight of Swords energy. I really feel like, Scorpio, you could potentially be really breaking free from a toxic relationship cycle because, which is interesting, uh, in the beginning of the reading, in the beginning of the pre-shuffle, remember we had the Emperor at the bottom of the deck? Underneath that was the Devil, okay? So you're standing your ground in, some so in terms of some sort of toxicity here, all right? Some sort of confinement, some sort of entrapment. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. Now we have the Empress to the King of Cups. Scorpio, this is you. And I feel, okay, see, now here's the thing, Scorpio. Regardless of what you might be fearing in terms of how this situation is going to work out or anything, um, the more honest, the more emotionally mature you are and the more emotionally stable and you are, the more abundance and rewards you're actually going to be able to get from this situation. I definitely feel like some of you are hesitating in terms of communication because you don't know what's going to happen. However, your honesty, your, your, I am hearing your loyalty, okay, but your honesty, your emotional maturity, and choosing to do what you know is right, even though it's going to probably be difficult for you, and maybe even just difficult in the very beginning, in the long run, Scorpio, you are going to be rewarded by this. There is going to be abundance that's coming to it's like it's going to be opening up hi little spider interesting here's a little spider but it's going to open up a form of abundance for you okay it's, there's a spider right here on the table it's a tiny little thing it is so freaking cute but also think about what spider symbolism represents now underneath the deck you do have the three of wands think about what spider symbolism represents okay spiders spin a web spiders are very very self-sufficient. They're ingenuitive. Is that a, the proper way to say that? Um, there's a sense of strong ingenuity here. Yeah, Scorpio, you've got to step up because you're, I, I feel like some of you right now are in a position in which you're weaving a, weaving a web that you don't want to be continued continue weaving, okay? This is going to be, this is probably going to be a tough decision. It's probably not going to be something that's going to be so easy to do, but it's the right thing to do because it's the right thing for you, Scorpio, okay? That uh, Also keep in mind, guys, that King of Cups does represent Scorpio energy. Yeah, balance. Physical balance, physical harmony. The Two of Pentacles just flipped over. All right. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I was doing readings yesterday and I was slamming the cards on the table and I didn't realize how loud that got. So I apologize for that. But we are going to get into the rest of this here, Scorpio. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. We'll see what the rest of your reading is. Yeah? One. Definitely needing, someone's needing to step up. Okay? Honor yourself is what I'm hearing. Choose to do what is right for you instead of holding your position. Take that as it resonates, yeah? This is two. This is three. For my Scorpios here, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. This is three. Four. And uh, five skis. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got for you this month. I'm going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We are starting you off with the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Choose, at the, literally, I just heard, choose to do something differently. You can't expect to continue going in the current... You can't continue to go in the current direction or doing the same doing things the same way that you have been doing and expect things to change. If you want things to change, Scorpio, you have to catalyze that. You have to make that change for yourself. You have to take stock of what it is you have in front of you. Understand whether it is you really like that or not or and if you don't 
if you want it to change, you're going to have to change your process. You're going to have to change, do something differently. All right, Scorpio, I definitely feel like for some of you guys here, you really understand what it is that you want to change and you're, and you're needing to do it for yourself. Underneath the seven of pentacles is justice. Underneath the seven of justice is the seven of swords. And then underneath the seven of swords is the ace of swords. Okay. Uh, this is taking an interesting turn now, Scorpio, because there's deception here. For some of you, I do feel like this deception is your own because you're expecting things to you're expecting yourself to get a get a different result, but you're doing things the same way you've always been. And I, like I said, in order to get a different result, you're going to have to change your process here. Okay. For others of you, if this is a relationship situation that this is resonating for you in terms of, there is deception here. Honestly speaking, there is deception here. Uh, you might be deceiving your partner. You know what? The, this, this feels like the biggest form of deception here is just not owning up or honoring yourself. And that's, that's, that's deceiving your partner because you're not really giving your all or, or someone here is not really necessarily giving their all or, you know, giving the, being honest or being truthful about what it is they want or how it is they feel. And I just feel like the strongest thing in terms of that, Scorpio, is the fact that it's really affecting you or the person that's needing to speak up more than anything else, okay? Ace of Swords here. You do know what it is you want to do but also and, what it, and potentially what it is you want or need to say, but also the Ace of Swords is representing victory here. Victory in terms of bringing justice into your life, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra. You may have Libra in your chart or maybe you're a Libra cross-watching for a Scorpio. All right, let's, oh, there's the spider again. Look, it's literally, it's a little jumping spider. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. It's so tiny, but it's right there, like literally right in the middle of my table here. Spider wisdom, spider symbolism. Look up what spider symbolism represents and what it means for you, okay? I need my table, little guy. Okay. Moving forward, first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, you do have the Six of Swords. You have the opportunity to move forward here. Move from rough waters to calmer waters. Move to a safer place to be, a safer space in the relationship. If, if for some of you, this is the end of the relationship, um, then you, you are moving to a safe, happier, much more complete and whole space in terms of this. But in order to do that, Scorpio, you're going to have to take certain action and communicate, okay? Six of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, okay, so what the Knight of Pentacles is representing here for you is um, not necessarily moving forward. It's the direction you've come in. And I do feel like for some of you, you may have been hesitating to speak up in whatever way or communicate about whatever it is you want to communicate about, be truthful about something, because you've been trying to focus on the process. You've been, you've been meticulous about it, I feel like dotting your I's, crossing your T's, doing everything that you possibly can to make this work or make sure, either make this work in the current way that it's been going or make sure you have everything in order so that you can make some sort of proposal or communicate some, of tr some sort of truth. There may have been some sort of investigation. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with some sort of legal situation, although you could be with justice here, all right? That may have been the, the, the investigation process of that, but that investigation doesn't necessarily need to be uh, legal in terms of a legal situation. It could be just you really trying to make sure you understand the situation or you understand what it is you feel or what it is that you want before you move forward. And yet I feel like there's a bit of procrastination here. I feel like what the Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles are also representing for you in this situation, Scorpio, is that it's time to move forward. It's time to move to the next step. And for a lot of you, that next step is a form of communication. Okay. Communication communicating what it is you want. This could even be you needing to just communicate whatever it is you want to spirit, to the universe, you know, to your angels, to, in terms of uh, manifesting the next move or the next phase or whatnot, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. You do have the Hierophant, all right? Institution, lessons, uh, confinement. This could be marriage. Uh, it, mm. Maybe some of you want to go deeper into a relationship here. 
You want to bring it to a, a stronger form of commitment, and that's beautiful. But if you want that, Scorpio, then you need to communicate about it, okay? And maybe some of you may, be communi may not be communicating because your partner... Uh, maybe your partner has said to you that they don't necessarily want to to make take things too seriously, or for some reason you might think that they don't want take, to take things too seriously. But in that case, number one, that is kind of deceptive there, and then there's that deception coming uh, being basically more for yourself than in terms of the other person. Because if you want things to be a little more serious, then why stay in a situation where your partner doesn't want that, right? But also. In terms of you not necessarily knowing if your partner or the person that you're with wants to take things cl uh, more seriously, wants to take it to the next level, you're never going to know until you communicate about it, right? The Hierophant is coupled with Temperance. I definitely feel like there are some of you here, if we're talking about a relationship, um, there's a, definitely a possibility for you guys to come together even more. OK, uh, to, to fuse together even more, to lock things down, to be more serious with each other. That's a really beautiful energy, Scorpio. But again, you're going to have to communicate about it in order to get there. OK, for others of you, if this has to do with business, because the higher font does can rep does represent uh, institutions, higher learning also is what I just heard. So there's going to need to be a some sort of higher learning, or maybe you have been in the process of going through some higher learning here. That could also be what this Knight of Pentacles energy represents for you. And what I'm getting here is this is a, definitely a good opportunity for you to communicate what it is that you want moving forward. Because you have come to a place where you're really solid and really balanced um, in terms of whatever it is you've been learning, whatever training you've been going through, whatever process you've been going through to uh, to re achieve a higher awareness, okay? Whether that be spiritually, uh, mentally, uh, you know, if you've been going through a certain training process for your job, to, to get a better job, to move to a new position. Temperance to me is saying that you are... You have integrated these lessons, you have integrated these energies, and now you're ready to move forward, okay? Your challenge here in the first half of your reading, Scorpio, is the Queen of Wands. Being in alignment with what it is that you want, also being confident enough and believing in yourself to, enough to know that whatever it, that is you want is coming to you, okay? There are certain moments where you're going to have to see, all right, look, there are certain moments where you're going to have to take action, Scorpio, and I feel like you potentially been in this energy of the queen of wands being receptive and just kind of sitting back and waiting for things to come to you or just focusing on your alignment but i feel like some of you are kind of stuck in this energy the challenge i feel like is for you to now start to take uh guided action towards what it is you've been getting yourself in alignment with okay trust your intuition there because I feel like some of you are getting the signs, getting the synchronicities, getting the kind of nudge from your higher self, from your guides, your, from spirit, whatnot, whatever, um, to, to move forward, to take the next step. That is what I'm hearing, okay? Queen of Wands is coupled with the Two of Cups. Now, we're going. this is going back to a relationship situation. Um, you've been working on getting an alignment with... Uh, a stronger relationship, a more foundational relationship, a, a, a deeper bond with someone, all right? But I feel like the challenge now is that you have to take action here, Scorpio, okay? And, for, and I'm getting specifically that if you're in a situation with someone that doesn't want things, doesn't want to take things too seriously, then you need to take action in terms of letting go of that so that you have the space energetically and even physically, right? Uh, I mean, whatever, if you're a polyamorous, that's cool too, but... I'm not trying to judge you there, but it, it, whatever it is, however you want the relationship to work or whatever it is you've been getting into alignment with, you also have to create the space for it. So if you're already in a relationship with someone that doesn't necessarily want to take things seriously or go any further than where it already is right now, then you need to clear the space for that. If that's truly what you want, if that's truly what you've been getting into alignment with, I feel like if, if definitely if this is talking about a relationship situation, a love situation for you, Scorpio, You've been doing the work on yourself to be prepared to take things to the next level. So you may have to end a certain relationship right now in order for you to receive the type of relationship that you truly want, 
in the near future. I am hearing that in the near future, okay? For others of you, if this is business, I feel like there's a business partner coming for you or you may be looking for getting into alignment with someone that you can work with either creatively or business-wise, okay? So now, if that's the case though, you're gonna have to reach out and communicate, yeah? Put yourself out there, throw out some feelers, you know? I, I don't know, hit up LinkedIn or something like that, right? <laughs> The closing message or potential outcome for you here, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading. Okay, we're going to take both of them at once. Four of Swords with the Moon. Okay. I'm getting intuition with the Moon. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some sort of deception here. There is either deception in terms of how it like you deceiving yourself and not necessarily believing that you are capable or ready to take the next step and can actually communicate about what it is you want at this point or there are some deeper aspects going on here yes that you do need to communicate about i did just hear that scorpio but the closing message here is uh the closing yeah well it's mostly a closing message not necessarily a potential outcome what i'm feeling but it's feeling like you need to ground yourself and you need to go to kind of meditate to allow yourself to get past or to see past the illusion, okay, of whatever it is in front of you. And I feel like for some of you, it's in your belief. What I'm hearing is your belief, not believing that you're ready, not believing that you're able to communicate, not believing that you're going to get what you want. This, yeah, the, the moon is definitely representing deception here, Scorpio, okay? And what I'm hearing in terms of that, uh, in terms of that deception, is believe in yourself. Okay, there are fears that are getting in the way and stopping you from moving forward or communicating clearly. That's what I, I literally. There. <coughs> Excuse me. See. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your beliefs are getting in the way of you communicating clearly, Scorpio. You've got it. So in order to get past that, in order to see through that illusion, you need to take some time and meditate and clear your mind. Yes? All right. Second half of your reading here, Scorpio, first set of surrounding energies. There's the Ace of Wands. There is your inspiration. Uh, Scorpio, I feel like this is going to be successful. Ultimately, no matter how it may pan out in, in the very beginning, and I'm not, I, I don't want to scare anybody, but I'm going to be as honest with you as I can here. There is potentially going to be a tower moment. But ultimately, Scorpio, that tower moment is going to help lead you towards building the future that it is you actually want to go along with. The actual, what it is you're feeling inspired towards creating for yourself, okay? I do feel like this is going to be successful, no matter how things work out or pan out initially, okay? In the long run, overall, this is going to be successful for you. Ace of Wands is coupled with this. Damn, yo, Scorpio. Six of Wands, I told you. Victory. Whatever it is you are feeling inspired towards, Scorpio, it is going to be successful. But you have to communicate. Communication is key here, Scorpio, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, you do now have the King of Wands. There you go. There's that action right there. So you have the Queen of Wands in your challenge in the first half of your reading, right? You're getting into alignment with something, okay? Now, here's the action part of it, the King of Wands. Now, let me just, let me just be clear with you. Um, I see the King and the Queen of Wands as a complete and whole representation of working with the Law of Attraction. The Queen of Wands is a little bit of the first step sometimes. Ooh. Uh, is a, tends to be is tends to be the first step in the process because that's when you're sitting back and allowing your feeling place to guide you towards what it is you're looking to get in alignment with and then at some point you're going to have to take some sort of action it's not all about just sitting on resting on your laurels and, or sitting on your hands and just expecting the universe to drop what it is you want in your lap so again if this is about love and relationships Scorpio if you want a certain thing out of your relation a certain something out of your relationship you're going to have to take action at some point, right? And that's where the King of Wands comes in. And yes, he's very similar to the Queen of Wands in that he sits back, but he also sits back and waits for the right time to strike. 
He waits for that open window of opportunity. He waits for that door to open. And that's when he gets up and, his t and he takes his action. And Scorpio, I feel like action, it's time to take action, okay? You've been waiting long enough. You've been getting in alignment long enough. Now it's time to start taking the physical steps to get yourself there. Yeah. Uh, uh, King of Wands is coupled with the Five of Swords. You're sa okay. You're sabotaging yourself here. The Five of Swords is an energy uh, potentially of uh, self sabotage, a lose lose situation, and that's and that's coming from fear. The reason why you're holding back and that's sabotaging you, it's your fears. It's your illusions, the illusions around you, okay? Clear your mind. You are capable. You are more than capable of handling this situation, of doing what it is that you need to do, of getting what you want. But there is a lack of belief in yourself, and that's sabotaging you, okay? That's holding you back from taking the action that you are guided to take, or at least that you know you need to take. That's what I just heard, okay? Your challenge here in the second half of your reading, Scorpio. Ah, yes, the Ten of Swords. Okay, so an ending of a difficult situation. I feel like this is an emotional situation. Fear. Fear of lack. Fear of not having enough. You are at the precipice, Scorpio, of ending this. The final nail in the coffin is what I just heard. But yes, you absolutely 100% have to take action here. It's not going to end all on its own. Okay, sure, the universe will definitely help you, but at certain points, you are going to have to take the steps to do it, right? To follow through with it, at least. I mean, the, the door is open, but you have to choose to step through it, okay? Ten of Swords is coupled with... It. Wow, that's so crazy, because I was looking at the Ten of Swords, and I was thinking, you are at the... At, you're at the, like, one of the final steps. I You heard me say... The final nail in the coffin, right? And I saw the Nine of Swords in my head. And of course, the Nine of Swords represents fear and apprehension. It also represents illusions and um, uh, self-fulfilling prophecies. But you're almost there, right? And the, the main reason why I saw the Nine of Swords was because I'm feeling like you're, there's, one, there's just one last step that you're going to have to take, one last sword that you got to pull, pull out, right? There it is. Nine of Swords. Okay? This is your challenge. Moving forward in the second half of your reading, especially in terms of the action that you know or that you're guided to take, just take that one last step. Just make this one last step, this one last choice. Choose to take this one last step towards the completion, the ending of this, the end of, the end of this cycle, yeah? Believe in yourself, Scorpio. You got this. Closing message or potential outcome here for you in this last second half of your reading. Ah, beautiful. Nine of Cups, happiness awaits you. This, I definitely feel like, is a potential outcome for you here, okay? Satisfaction, feeling free, okay? Beautiful. Nine of Cups is coupled with the two, <laughs> the two of swords. Oh, goodness. Your happiness is just one step away, Scorpio. But your denial is getting in the way. There's, this is what's holding you back from your nine of cups, from your happiness. Okay? You guys are at the nine. And you're trying to get to the ten. The nine is the ending. The ten is the completion. So things, this is ending. Something is coming to an end for you here. A tough cycle. A diff difficulty in your relationship. Look at this, Scorpio. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Look at that. And in your challenge here, you're at the Nine of Swords. Just that one last sword, just that one last step will bring you to the completion. Will bring you to happiness, fulfillment, wish fulfillment, contentment. Okay? But don't let, the, you don't let this denial, this fear, or and the illusions stop you, hold you back. Instead... Take up the sword of truth and knowledge and bring this justice into your life. Okay? Let's close out this reading with some oracle guidance. I definitely want to get this oracle guidance for you from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yeah? Here we go. Five shuffles. One. To close out the... Actually, yeah. 
two. They're saying four shuffles is adequate, so we're going to do that. This is three. And four. All right, Scorpio. Closing oracle guidance here. Closing oracle guidance, please, Spirit, for my Scorpios for this reading, for this message. There we go. Card number 37. Goddess Tara and Tibetan courts, her eye ever open. Good. Good Lord. Here we go. We bring you the empowerment of her eye ever open. The divine protection around you is absolute and complete. Your simple request for the Universal Mother to watch out for you and to protect what has meaning for you allows you to live your life, do your work, and know the most powerful one is caring for your well-being on all levels. You can trust, be free from worry, and remain open to the world with joy in your heart. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. you got to trust Scorpio, okay? There you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. Again, remember, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. Also, if you would like to support the channel and get some extra monthly content, go ahead and check me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divineconversations. That can also be found in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>